Hi, this is Dr. Ben Finio here, almost a year into the pandemic and making Zoom tutorials with my latest pandemic buzz cut, here to answer a question I never thought I'd find myself asking, does the Windows voice to text feature work with Zoom chat? I have started experimenting with this feature recently due to tendonitis in my wrist, and that made me wonder what if you're in a Zoom meeting and rather than just unmuting yourself and talking, you would like to type something into the chat, but you are relying on voice to text software to do so. Does that work with Zoom? So very quickly, in case you were not aware, Windows 10 does come with built in voice to text features. So you can click in any text field, then press Windows H on your keyboard. That will pop up this little toolbar that will start listening automatically. And as with most voice recognition, it's not perfect, but it does a pretty good job. You can see I'm talking for a pretty long time here, and I think if I pause for a second, it's going to update and type out this whole thing. There we go. And you can toggle this little microphone on and off to make it stop listening to you, and you can issue commands for punctuation and things like that. So in theory, if I'm a user in a Zoom meeting who would like to use the voice to text feature to say something in the chat instead of broadcasting it over the meeting's audio, I should be able to click here in the text field for the chat, hit my Windows H keys to bring up this box, and then it should start transcribing what I'm saying into the chat. You can see that's working here. And then again, when I am done talking, I can press enter to send the message. Now you'll notice I did not wait long enough for that entire message to process. So I sent the chat too early and it got cut off. It kind of had these ellipses in the middle as it was waiting to fill in the entire paragraph. So if we try that again, again, I'm going to hit record, start recording, and I found this to be a little buggy sometimes. So I have the chat box selected. I hit the blue microphone. It claims that it's listening, but now it is not typing anything. So I'm not sure if that is a problem with Windows or with Zoom, but it seems to work the first time when I hit Windows H. Let's try that again. Windows H, now it's listening. There we go. So Windows H to start it, but then I appear to have to close and restart this each time. It does not work just by toggling this little microphone button. Now, again, I'm gonna wait for a second now. Stop listening, it processed that whole thing. Now I can hit enter and send the entire chat. Now, if you've been paying attention, you might be wondering, wait a minute, you're not muted. That kind of defeats the purpose of using the chat and not broadcasting audio. Well, you need to test this when you are muted in Zoom. So let's try that. I am going to mute myself and I get the little notification that I'm muted. I'm gonna click over here again, do Windows H and it's listening, it should start typing. Okay, there, that still works. Again, I found it to be a little buggy with restarting this. But again, if you need to close it, restart it, use Windows H, yeah, Windows H each time, then you should get it to work. So this is the first video I've done about accessibility for Zoom. And there are a bunch more things here. For example, Zoom does have accessibility settings in its settings related to, it appears to be mainly the size of the font to increase readability and then a bunch of different alerts and things you can turn on for compatibility with screen readers. There is also a dedicated section of their website that explains the accessibility features. And if you scroll down, lists the standards that they are compliant with, with some exceptions. So I assume if you click through here at some point, they have all the different documents and may list the exceptions and what it is and is not compatible with. But if you do have questions about other Zoom accessibility things, I am happy to try those out and make some more tutorials on them. If you're a new viewer, I do have a playlist with dozens of other tutorials about teaching and learning online with Zoom. I have gotten many of my ideas for newer videos from questions and comments I've gotten on the old tutorials. So if you do have a question or a suggestion for another tutorial, I cannot promise I will get to everything, but go ahead and leave a comment below this video and I will do my best to get back to you. Thank you.